and welcome back and this isn't sort of my usual update kind of video um, as from the title below I've called this a special uh, because in this video all I'm going to be doing is purely focusing on my latest scratch build which is this one here which is a model of the pub called the Crown in Wells for which I've taken some artistic license and renamed it The Crown at Sandford. So if scratch building's not your thing, you might want to skip this video. If you're interested, then stick around and I will show you how I built this. So I started with this uh, very rough mock-up just to check proportions and so forth. Then after I'd designed it in Adobe Illustrator, cut all the pieces out using my cry cut machine. So here are the various components that go up to building this, including some glazing that I printed out on acetate. Then a laborious task of scoring and folding all of the ins and outs of this um, bay window type structure. And the same for this outer shell. The reason for the outer shell will hopefully become apparent shortly. And then just fitting the two together, just to check it all fits, which it did nicely. Um, then these are just some uh, reinforcing bits just to strengthen everything that I then glued into the structure to give it some more stability. Again, just uh, doing a test fit here just to make sure we're all good and then just cutting off the excess which I later decided I actually needed but never mind. <laughs> now I'm just, uh, this is the reason I did the sort of outer within the shell is because I wanted to do those windows separately so I used a marker pen for the black, I didn't have a brown marker pen. Um, I didn't want to put too much paint on it at this stage because it was quite thin card and I didn't want to saturate it anymore. Um, but now I am just painting this outer shell just with acrylic. Again, test fit and then glue it all into place. And then to realize my first mistake, which was that when I'd scored and folded it, I did it completely the opposite way around to the way it should. So it was kind of back to front, which was somewhat annoying. So I repeated all of the process that you've just seen, which is a good two, three hours work, and then continued. And so this is um, just more structure to stick that main piece to, just painting the edges brown and black as appropriate. And then gluing with it all the right way around, gluing a set piece onto there and just doing those roof bits the same colour as the rest of the building. Then this is just some decorative bits that uh, again just did with a black marker pen and then these are the um, roof parts so again just giving them an undercoat of black just so you don't see cardboard sticking through and then onto the sort of inner shell of the building again several pieces cut on the cry cut and this just makes a sort of box structure and then let's see making a box to go around that whole piece like so and then time to glue the front onto that structure. Like that. And then weighting it down with some heavy books just to make sure it sticks. And I left that overnight. Now just painting the sides. And now with 
my cat Woody supervising and I started to cut out the um, roofing slates and sticking all those on, trimming them up to size and then painting. Now to onto the roofing of the main roof, which is quite a long, tedious procedure. Then I very, very carefully masked everything up <laughs> before I started to paint the roof. The last thing I wanted at this stage was to spill the paint down the front of the building and then just adding some weathering onto that roof as well. And then it all starts to come together, sticking that sort of decorative bit on the front there. And the smaller roofing sections. And that's where we got to at that point. Now for the sign, um, so I individually cut all those letters at the top there out and then it was just a case of using a template on a bit of paper underneath that just to get them all aligned and stuck in the right position. And then just with a pencil marking out the um, coping stones to go on the top of the roof and then they stick onto place like that. Now the, I guess you'd call it some sort of decorative beading that goes on those bays. So cutting all those to size and sticking them on. And now I'll have to stick the sign on. which gives us this. I'm just putting on some window ledges now. Again, another very fiddly job, so you're tiny. And notice I've also put those, um, those sort of stained glass effects windows as well, now just adding some signage. And you'll notice here that that front door bit is too big because I cut off that excess where I shouldn't have done. However, I have now, since that last clip, readjusted it, as you can see there, I've now put in that extra bit. And you realise that when I was sticking the posters on that it was uh, not quite right. And finally, pub sign, some flags outside, just like on the real thing. And I put that drain pipe in as well, which I just made from a bit of plastic rod and some bits of paper. And here it is on the layout. I'm not sure if that's its uh, final resting place as yet, but I've just stuck it there next to my Swan Hotel just to see how it looks. And I think it's come out very well. It's probably took start to finish about three weeks, I think, um, on and off. But next time I think I'll try and more accurately add up the hours that I've into these such things. So there we go, um, a good probably three weeks work there, um, but I'm really pleased 
with the results. I think it's come out really, really well. Um, so I'll leave it there. In the next video, I will do a proper update of where I've got to. Um, until then, see you soon. Bye.